preparing for? Sir, I am preparing for IOCL, sir. IOCL. Okay. So, when do you have your interview? Uh, up to now, no dates have come, sir. Interview shortlist date. Mm -hmm. I think uh, it will come within like 10 days, like the shortlist. Okay. And uh, you are from um, uh, mechanical background or what? No, sir. I am from metallurgical engineering, sir. You are from metallurgy. Yes, sir. And uh, you want to go for the snap of which subject? Yes, sir. Snap of strength of metals. Uh, means, sir. As regarding uh, all topics will not be there, sir, for uh, metallurgy, like uh, stress and diagram, more circle, creep, fatigue. These topics will be there, sir, for us. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead with the mock then. So, Vanu, yes, let me know uh, what is the uh, stress. Okay, sir. Uh, stress is defined as the internal resisting force per unit area, sir. Mm -hmm. when, when the body is given load. Okay. And what are the different types of stresses? Sir, uh, different type of stresses are... Uh, Mm. Compressive stress, tensile stress, and shear stress. These are the different types of stresses. And how stress is different from strength? Uh, okay, sir. Actually, uh, strength is uh, defined as the uh, maximum stress that can be induced in a material uh, until failure. This is uh, defined as tensor, whereas stress is an internal resisting force per unit area under given load. This is this is about stress, sir. Where strength is a max, maximum stress that it can be induced in a material till failure. Okay. So, can you let me know what are the different ways through which I can increase the strength of the material? Uh, different ways like uh, we can do metal forming sir by metal forming uh, we can increase the strength of the material mm -hmm. uh, and also sir, huh, yes, sir this is that is a one thing we can increase the strength of the metal and also by strain hardening sir the meaning is same this is strain yes, hard yes, what, what else so that's the thing I know, sir. By metal forming, we can use Okay, so what is strain hardening? Uh, strain hardening is defined as the increase in the yield strength of a material during plastic deformation. It is called as strain hardening. So why does the yield strength of the material increases in strain hardening? Uh, sir, it increases uh, due to increase in the dislocation density, sir. Means as the number of dislocations increases, uh, these will pile up at the grain boundary where in which strength and hardness will increase. Okay. And what happens to ductility? Uh, as increase in the strength and hardness, the ductility will decrease, sir. In strain Why? hardening. Why? Uh, ductility decreases because uh, uh, as uh, the strength and uh, strength and ductility are inversely proportional, sir. That, uh, that is okay, but I'm seeing why why the ductility is decreased. Ductility is decreases because uh, means uh, uh, the body will regain to its original shape. Sir. Means uh, as it is a cold warped material. How do we measure the ductility? Sorry, sir, no idea, sir. Okay, so do you know what principal stress is? Yes, sir. What are principal stresses? Sir, uh, principal stresses are the stresses uh, wherein which normal stress is either maximum or minimum, but shear stress is zero. These stresses are called as principal stresses. So can you draw a mohor circle, any random mohor circle, which shows that, okay, 
uh, that the principal stress is maximum minimum where shear is zero. Yes, sir. Hmm? Go ahead and draw more circle. Sir, it is visible, sir. Yes, yes. So, uh, tell me where uh, the location of the planes where these uh, principal stresses are there. Sir, the, uh, here it is maximum maximum principal stress, sir. Okay. And okay, here it is. Draw the loading condition for which you have drawn this more circle. Okay, sir. Sir, this is a uni axial tim interface, sir. Okay, let us say. On y axis in this same element, you are uh, applying a compressive law of load of same magnitude. Yes, sir. Can you draw the move circle for this now? Yes, sir. Yeah, go ahead. Sir, for the uh, same type of stress, sir. Mm -hmm. No, no, same element. Yes, sir. In you are applying sigma as a tensile stress. On y axis, apply the compressive stress yes, of sir. same magnitude, sigma. Okay, sir. And then draw the move circle for that. Okay, sir. So this is last one, sir. Okay. Okay. Can you can you For the same Mohur circle, for the same Mohur circle, yes, sir. when you draw an element, separate element, and uh, for which show the loading in such a way that it will have the same Mohur circle, okay? A different kind of loading. Yes, sir. It will give you the same Mohur circle. Draw that loading. Okay. Okay. Draw, uh, I should draw the loading, sir. Yes. Draw an element, separate element. Yes, sir. And draw the loading. Which will give you the same over circle? Yes, sir. So, for pure shear stress, we can get the same over circle, sir. And uh, in this case, where is the location of the plane on which maximum principal stress act? Sir, it is uh, 45 degrees, sir. Mm -hmm. 45 sir. degrees from where? From origin, sir. Origin means what? Means uh, uh, the origin the of the Mohr circle. But in the Mohr circle, it is at 0 degree. Yes, sir. Mohr circle at 0. I mean, sir, it is exactly. Uh, Drawn from the origin of the Mohr circle, sir. No, how you can draw it from the origin? Means, uh, means uh, for pure for pure shear uh, condition, the Mohr circle same. It is passes through origin of the circle. Origin of the. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, do you know what poison ratio? Yes, sir. What is poison ratio? Sir, the uh, poison ratio is defined as the negative of lateral strain to the ratio of lateral strain to longitudinal strain, sir. Why we have taken a negative sign over here? Actually, uh, sir, uh, if we stress the body in the longitudinal direction, see, uh, whatever the strain that is produced in the lateral strain, so it gets a negative value. In order to compensate that negative value, we will take minus sign, sir. So can it have negative value? 
Yes, sir. It has negative value. No, no, no. I'm saying that poison ratio can poison ratio be negative. Yes, sir. Poison ratio can be negative. Why? When? It means for for some kind of materials it oh. can be negative, sir. Mm. For another, like uh, maximum, we'll get positive poison ratio. For that. Okay. Okay, Banu. So let me just give you the feedback now. Okay. Okay, sir. See, some portion is okay. This uh, principal stress is portion you were able to explain me well, but uh, initial portion also I think you answered well. Yes, sir. But uh, I think somewhere during strength, how to increase uh, strength? Okay. So this question was uh, a mix up of your metallurgical knowledge and uh, general knowledge, right? Yes. Sir. I asked that how we can increase the strength of the material in different ways. Yes, sir. Along, add the alloying element. Yes, sir. Add the alloying. Yes, sir. Then. Can and also, oh, yes. What else? Metal forming, sir. Metal forming is one way. Another one is by changing the structure of the material, right? Yes, yes, or sir. maybe by different uh, cooling processes also, you can influence the strength of the material, grain structure and all that. Yes, sir. For example, one is a grain structure. If you will have a different grain structure, you will influence the strength. Yes, if sir. If you add allowing element, you will influence the strength. Yes, sir. And also, sir, sir, one thing, like uh, by strengthening mechanism, also we increase the strength, grain boundary strengthening, these kind of strengthenings. That you need to mention, no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, so you simply focus on the strain hardening part only. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. So uh, that is one part. So it could the, the question could be a mix of that, right? And yes, same sir. was the case when I asked you that which strength increases in strain hardening. You said that okay, yield strength increases because of distribution and all that. That was okay. Yes. Yes, the quality decreases, that is okay. But why the quality increases, decreases, you were not able to explain it. Yes, sir. I also ask you that, okay, how we do we measure the ductility? Yes, sir. See, the ductility of the material is normally measured in terms of how much we can elongate it. Okay, sir. Percentage elongation. Normally, this is the criteria. Strain. How much strain it can go in tension. Yes, sir. So, when I deform it by a certain amount, so it means if I say that what is the strain in stress strain diagram mild steel, if I say that, okay, if I have to measure its ductility, you would say that, okay, I can produce a strain of roughly 0 0.24, 0 0.25 something around, yes, roughly 24%, right? Yes, so if that be the case, then uh, if you have already deformed the material in a strain hardening region, its yes, ability to deform further has decreased. Let's say you can deform it by 25%. Now you have mm -hmm. already deformed by 10%. So how yes, much sir. you can deform it further? By this much? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, it's ability to deform further as degree. Or then you can deform it by 25%. Now since you have already deformed it, now you can deform it by only 10%. Oh, uh, sorry, 14%. Yes, sir. So that is how we say that the quality has decreased. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Right? That is how you are. Yes, sir. I'm not sure. Mm. Uh, it. And the other mm -hmm. part was okay. So just pay detail to this particular first portion. Uh, and I think uh, basic understanding, okay, it seems that you have basic understanding, but try to relate those things with the metal of the old. Yes, okay? sir, yes, sir. And just watch the videos which are given to you. Even metal forming portion, I think some videos are given to you. Just watch those videos. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay? Okay. Okay. okay.